Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and today I am bringing you a brand new video on SNDL and I want to point out a few things that happened today which are very very important for the future or the short term future of the stock. So as I mentioned in my previous video, SNDL was able to hold the $2 support line and it actually never got tested. So we can see that the low of the day was $2.02. .02 and we can see that the resistance is actually around $2.25. So at the quarter dollar, usually there's a lot of resistance. So if we see here, SNDL closed at $2.19 today, and after hours it is actually down 16 cents or 7%, and it's nearing that support range again around the $2. So this is essentially the same uh, low as today, and we can see that if it goes below the $2 mark, I would really hold on until you buy because I think if it breaks below 2, it's going to go around 175 before it finds more support. So if we go into the chart here, I just wanted to note this. So I have a few indicators down here that I'll get into in a second here, but I want to draw this uh, this out for you guys. So the first thing here, this is on a 15 day chart and let me go to a five day chart. So a weekly chart, we can see that the low here is exactly at the 180 mark and this was on February 12th, so last week we can see that the low is about 180, 175, so that's why I'm saying if it breaks below the $2 mark, which is basically what the new support range is currently for this week and the last few days, if it breaks below that, I wouldn't buy anything until it starts consolidating around the $1.75. So if we go to a day chart, which was today, we can see that it kind of double bottomed uh, during the actual market hours. So at 10.30, we can see it bottomed out at 2.02 and then again at 12.15. And now we can see that after hours, it is actually, uh, it, it kind of went to 2.01 and then it's, it's staying above the $2 mark again where the support is. But this is what I'm saying. So if this breaks, if this $2 mark breaks, I really do believe that the next support level is at $1.75. Now, on the upside, we can see if I go back to my five day chart, which is a weekly chart, we can see that the kind of the resistance right now is at the $2.25, $2.26, around that quarter dollar, like I mentioned, and it was actually today's high. And as soon as it hit that, it got rejected and went all the way back to $2. So if this stock, if SNDL can move above 225 with good momentum, this is going to be very, very good for the stock. So if ever SNDL breaks above the 225, I would definitely look for an entry point or even if it gets momentum into the 225, I would look into buy on the upside because then I do believe we can see a test around the $2.50 mark, which is right over here. So we can see that there's a lot of potential on the upside and there's a lot of support right now around the $2 mark. So depending on what SNDL opens at tomorrow, I might actually be making a play on it and then letting you guys know what I'm doing with this play. So I wouldn't necessarily be, again, like I said in my previous video, I went into more news related items. So for me, I wouldn't be long term on this position, but I would want to swing trade this into the momentum. So that's exactly what I will be looking at tomorrow. If we can open tomorrow above $2 and then have momentum into the morning going on the upside and trying to test that 225 again and having support at around the $2 mark, I am going to be looking to make a play on this. Now, if we do see, however, a break below $2, I am going to wait until we seek some consolidation at the $1.75 mark, as I've mentioned before. So the last thing I wanted to mention here was the two indicators I have on the graph here. So I have the RSI and the MACD. So the first one, the RSI, which is the Relative Strength Index, we can see that it's sitting at 44, which is very healthy uh, because 30 begins to uh, mark where a stock is oversold. And we can see when it started peaking at the $4.86 mark, the RSI was actually around, uh, let me just see here, it was actually around 72. So we've come back down to earth, if I can say, and it's sitting around the 40 range, which is very, very healthy, and it shows that there's been a lot of consolidation in the last few days, which we can see on this graph here. And so the last indicator I have on the graph here is the MACD, which is basically the moving average of convergence and divergence. And essentially what that means is that 
when it is above that zero line here, which is the basis of this uh, graph down here, we can see that once it's above, it is going in a buy direction, meaning the, mo the momentum of the stock is in the buying direction, and when it goes downwards, it is in the selling direction, obviously. Now, depending on how fast it actually crossed the line, that kind of indicates the momentum of the stock, and if it's overbought or oversold. So we can see that on this 15-day chart, that the MACD right now is very very close to zero I think it's at minus 0 0.02 if I zoom in here so yeah it's very very close and it looks to like it wants to go back up into the buy area so this consolidation here around two dollars can be very very good for the star and depending on the open tomorrow I might be making a play on this so the last thing I wanted to mention here before the video ends is that if you guys are playing penny stocks, whether it's SNDL or any other stock, I wouldn't recommend you guys putting all of your money into this, if especially if you don't have that money to lose. So what I would recommend doing is putting a certain amount of money aside where you can lose it and you are, you're you're not going to be upset if you do lose it. You're not going to need that money to pay rent or to pay bills or anything. Let's say you're just treat it as you're going to the casino basically and you're putting maybe like, I don't know, $500 into this company hoping it goes up, but it could very well go down as well. So just because it's a penny stock and a lot of people are talking about it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will go up. So just be very, very careful guys. Don't go into this and thinking you're going to become a millionaire because I've done it and it doesn't happen. Uh, reality kicks you in the face very, very quickly. So just be, be very, very careful when you guys are investing in penny stocks, whether it's SNDL or any other stock for that matter. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, guys, if you did, please leave it a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are buying SNDL and what your averages are. So again, tomorrow I'm going to be looking at this stock if it holds above the $2 mark or if it doesn't, I'll be looking for an entry around the 175 and hopefully we can see a movement towards the break of 225 and onwards. So that's it for me, guys. Peace out.